Hey, how's everyone doing? Told ya, new PC, we're going full steam ahead with content creation. So expect more videos on a regular basis. Don't forget, you can always catch me live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday over on twitch.tv slash cold death. So, as we all know, Destiny 2 just dropped the newest season this past Tuesday, Season of the Chosen. So, I wanted to take a moment dive into and share my thoughts so far. So, let's get into it. The Cabal. War, wanted or not, is all they understand. And so we taught them. Sand eaters, scattered. Dust giants, belled. Ice reapers, buried. Siege dancers, broken. Until we grew complacent, and Gaul drove a blade between our ribs, left us gasping. Before the vanguard showed them that the light cannot be tamed so easily, I should have stepped forward, stamped the Red Legion into extinction. Instead, I ran the banner and watched the city's victories dull our edge once more. It should have ended before they fattened us, before they exploited us, before they forced us to lift up a murderer as our savior. Another cabal warmonger now leads a fleet off Nessus. No more waiting. We will be there to put her in the ground. Even my people have a word for peace, but we do not use it often, or lightly. I wouldn't have summoned you if I was not sincere. Peace with the Cabal. The darkness crowds the edges of this system. The Hive serves it. You'll fall to one if not the other. My world did. Empress Keitel. I'm sorry for what you've lost. We have all suffered. I propose an alliance. Cabal don't ally. They conquer. She betrayed her father to Gaul. Don't think she won't put a gilded knife in your back too. My father was soft. He lacked ambition. As you do. Humanity won't survive unless the Commander expands his horizons. Join my Empire. You'll keep your title and gain a seat on my War Council. With my army and your light, the Cabal will crush the Hive. Then, the Black Fleet. Bow. No. Very well. Ready yourself, Commander. I'll sharpen my gilded knife and see you both on the battlefield. Okay. So, those were the cutscenes that we get as soon as we log in first time on each character. The first big question I had is why is Lord Saladin doing the monologue? What involvement is he going to have this season? Definitely very odd that he's getting involved now, and I look forward to seeing why. So, as soon as you get past the cutscenes, you are immediately queued for the new Battleground activity. Now, so far, there are two battlegrounds, one on Nessus and the other on Europa. Both involve the Cabal and have similar steps to complete. Having run both of them, I can say that the Europa one does seem a bit quicker. 
even after going through the playlist for the battlegrounds where they add champions into the activity. The Battlegrounds is very reminiscent of both the Sundial from Season of Dawn and the Menagerie. The only difference is you're running with a fire team of three rather than six. All in all, the Battlegrounds are a fun, quick activity that I'm really looking forward to grinding more for the weapons and armor, which in turn is going to cause me to play more of the core playlist activities in order to gain more Cabal Gold, which is what you need in order to infuse into your Hammer of Proving in order to, to open the chest at the end of the Battlegrounds. So far, my only real complaint is that the helm location isn't technically part of the tower, which makes going between the helm and the tower kind of a pain since it requires you to load in and fly into that location again. Now, I know we're only a couple days into the new season, but I feel like this is already shaping up to be a very good season for both lore and PvE content. I will say I still feel horrible for the PvP community not getting any sort of hint as to what may be coming for them aside from some new trials, armor, and weapons. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I plan on, on looking at going forward, and a lot of stuff I'm going to grind for. You have weapons and armor from the Battlegrounds. You have the returning Destiny 1 weapons in the Nightfall ordeals. You have the Swarm, the Palindrome, and the Shadow Price. You have new exotics to go chase. We have three new chess pieces, one for each class that you can get by soloing the legendary lost well sectors. Well done, disrupting the cabal on Nessus. I wish that was the end of it. But unfortunately, it's just the beginning. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation went as well as you might expect. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other leaderless Cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent Cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander, and Osiris will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter, Crow, to be your reconnaissance expert. As always, Amanda Holiday will provide air support. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the Soul System. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Good luck. So, I want to know in the comments what you're most looking forward to this season. And with that, I'm going to leave you with two final words. Sepix Redux. If you know, you know. The new style suits you. Spoils of victory in the reef. Glint chose the materials. You haven't let me pay for any of this. If you want to repay me, keep that mask affixed to your face. It will protect you from the city's ignorance. I know what it's for. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets under disguise more times than you know. Now I am wealthy. Soon you shall be too. Patience and caution. Ah, 
Guardian. Saladin spoke highly of your assault. They think their tank is a show of strength, but it is no iron book. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Examples. My friends in the Reef have been talking. At this point, Red Legion commanders are either brutes or braggarts. Not the type for subtlety. They want Keitel's attention. We will use that information to direct our fury. Create a power vacuum and show the Cabal the path they've chosen. Dismissed. Together in the field, huh? I'm starting to get the impression you all like having me around. Alright, that's going to do it for me on this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next one, guys.